Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. Strong winds are expected in the central North Sea for the next 24 hours. They are expected to reach force 8 by this evening, lessening through the night to force 3 or 4 by dawn. Visibility is good. Strong winds are expected in the central North Sea for the next 24 hours. They are expected to reach force 8 by this evening, lessening through the night to force 3 or 4 by dawn. Visibility is good. You know something? I'm not keen on this route. Why is that then, sir? Why don't you like sailing in the North Atlantic? Well, put it this way, I like it when we've reached the States. The weather always seems to be so bad at this time of year. There always seems to be a problem of some sort. It must be better than the Gulf of Aden, sir. Well, for my next job, I think I'll work on a cruise liner in the Mediterranean. That would suit me better. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I'm not keen on this route. Why's that then, sir? Why don't you like sailing in the North Atlantic? Well, put it this way, I like it when we've reached the States. The weather always seems to be so bad at this time of year. There always seems to be a problem of some sort. It must be better than the Gulf of Aden, sir. Well, for my next job, I think I'll work on a cruise liner in the Mediterranean. That would suit me better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, your vessel's going to be loading some heavy cargo tomorrow, and it's important that if you have any problems which might affect your work, that you tell us about them. Last month, a deckhand injured his ankle because he hadn't reported an earlier accident. As a result, he was sent to hospital and was off work for several weeks. So, if at any time you're hurt or injured at work, you must report the matter and complete an accident report. Have you spoken to the new third engineer yet? Yes, he seems like a good guy. Really? I was starting to think he might be depressed or have marriage problems or something. Why do you think that? Uh, well, when I tried to speak to him yesterday, he just reacted like he was deaf or something and completely ignored me. Well, if you were speaking to him too loudly or even shouting at him, he would feel humiliated in public. Men from that culture don't like being spoken to like that. Have you spoken to the new third engineer yet? Yes, he seems like a good guy. Really? I was starting to think he might be depressed or have marriage problems or something. Why do you think that? Uh, well, when I tried to speak to him yesterday, he just reacted like he was deaf or something and completely ignored me. Well, if you were speaking to him too loudly or even shouting at him, he would feel humiliated in public. Men from that culture don't like being spoken to like that. This is my first general cargo vessel. I've been on tankers for the last 10 years. Well, the best thing about this ship is the variety of jobs we get. What do you mean by that? We get to visit a wide variety of ports and we're, we're not always on any regular shipping routes. No two jobs seem the same. That sounds interesting. On my last job I was usually travelling between the Arabian Gulf and China or Japan. Well, we get to visit many different ports in the Mediterranean and sometimes to Scandinavian countries. I'm looking forward to that. I see you have some photographs. Yeah, these were taken on the last voyage. Let me show them to you.
So, have a look at the EPUB and tell me what you see. Uh, is that a crack and... Don't worry, that's just paint. What else do you notice? Well, I'm not sure. The HIO date hasn't expired yet. Can you check the battery too? Oh, I see. It's nearly reached the expiry date. We we'll need to change it. So, have a look at the EPUB and tell me what you see. Uh, is that a crack and... Don't worry, that's just paint. What else do you notice? Well, I'm not sure. The HIO date hasn't expired yet. Can you check the battery too? Oh, I see. It's nearly reached the expiry date. We we'll need to change it. Do you know how many emails I got today? How many? About 250. You're kidding! I wish I was. And do you know what makes me really mad? Let me guess. They're so long, you stop reading after a few seconds. Well, some of them are like that, but that's not the main problem. Uh, there are too many attachments. That can sometimes be a problem. Oh, I give up. What is it? It's the fact that I'm always being copied into emails that have nothing to do with me. They're irrelevant. Good afternoon, sir. Your passports and boarding cards, please. Here you are. I'm afraid you're at the wrong gate, sir. Well, you're joking. But this is flight GR342 for Frankfurt, isn't it? No, didn't you hear the announcements? They changed the gate number. You should have boarded at gate 27, not 17. Oh, no. Where's that? Just down there. But hurry up. The flight's about to close. Good afternoon, sir. Your passports and boarding cards, please. Here you are. I'm afraid you're at the wrong gate, sir. Oh, you're joking. But this is flight GR342 for Frankfurt, isn't it? No, didn't you hear the announcements? They changed the gate number. You should have boarded at gate 27, not 17. Oh, no. Where's that? Just down there. But hurry up. The flight's about to close. So I hear the PSC inspector is visiting us tomorrow morning? Yeah, and this list shows additional items for Roro ships. Ah uh, yes, and there are three important additions. The shell doors locking and sealing arrangements, the vehicle deck drainage, and firefighting arrangements. I've been told that as far as the doors are concerned, they want us to inspect and test them all. I'm meeting with the loadmaster at 11.30 to check the cargo securing arrangements. Right, and I'm helping the chief officer check the water, fog and foam applicators in 30 minutes. So I hear the PSC inspector is visiting us tomorrow morning? Yeah, and this list shows additional items for Roro ships. Ah uh, yes, and there are three important additions. The shell doors locking and sealing arrangements, the vehicle deck drainage, and firefighting arrangements. I've been told that as far as the doors are concerned, they want us to inspect and test them all. I'm meeting with the loadmaster at 11.30 to check the cargo securing arrangements. Right, and I'm helping the chief officer check the water, fog and foam applicators in 30 minutes. I remember the incident on board my ship in January this year. It was really bad weather, with high winds and poor visibility. We were carrying a cargo of pipes, but as we were rounding the Cape of Good Hope, the pipes broke loose on deck. At the time, I was on watch on the bridge. The second officer heard a loud noise and noticed the pipes were loose, so he immediately informed the captain. The captain altered course to reduce the rolling and then ordered a team to go down on deck and secure the pipes. The problem was caused by the movement of the ship and some lashings breaking. But luckily, the deck crew were able to lever the pipes into a secure position and lash them down again.
I remember the incident on board my ship in January this year. It was really bad weather, with high winds and poor visibility. We were carrying a cargo of pipes, but as we were rounding the Cape of Good Hope, the pipes broke loose on deck. At the time, I was on watch on the bridge. The second officer heard a loud noise and noticed the pipes were loose, so he immediately informed the captain. The captain altered course to reduce the rolling and then ordered a team to go down on deck and secure the pipes. The problem was caused by the movement of the ship and some lashings breaking. But luckily, the deck crew were able to lever the pipes into a secure position and lash them down again. Your bag looks pretty heavy. You know these cheap airlines are strict. I weighed it before I left the vessel, and it was about 12 kilos. Well, it sure ain't now. This must be about 20 kilos. What have you got in there? They'll never let you on. Yeah, well, I've just bought a few presents. Look, can I give you a couple of pairs of my boots and some other stuff to carry? You're not supposed to do that. Oh, go on. Thanks. I'll weigh it again. Great. Now it's okay at ten. Yeah, and I dread to think how much mine now weighs. Your bag looks pretty heavy. You know these cheap airlines are strict. I weighed it before I left the vessel, and it was about twelve kilos. Well, it sure ain't now. This must be about twenty kilos. What have you got in there? They'll never let you on. Yeah, well, I've just bought a few presents. Look, can I give you a couple of pairs of my boots and some other stuff to carry? You're not supposed to do that. Oh, go on. Thanks. I'll weigh it again. Great. Now it's okay at ten. Yeah, and I dread to think how much mine now weighs. I am sick and tired of going into that workshop and trying to find tools. The reason I can't find anything is because they're all in here lying around in an unsafe condition. Why is that drill lying on that oily cloth? And what is that hammer doing on that high shelf? And who put that screwdriver into that empty coffee mug? The housekeeping in here is a disgrace. There are going to be some changes. We're going to have a toolbox talk right now. There's a lot of activity around here. Are those three skiffs over there? Do you think they could be pirates? I've been watching them. They're definitely fishermen. It's those two on the port side that look suspicious to me. I'm keeping a close eye on them. And there's some idiot on a lone yacht... He must be mad sailing in these dangerous waters. Anyway, I think we'll be all right. There's a group of four naval vessels taking part in an exercise in the area. We can call on them for help if we need to. There's a lot of activity around here. Are those three skiffs over there? Do you think they could be pirates? I've been watching them. They're definitely fishermen. It's those two on the port side that look suspicious to me. I'm keeping a close eye on them. And there's some idiot on a lone yacht... He must be mad sailing in these dangerous waters. Anyway, I think we'll be all right. There's a group of four naval vessels taking part in an exercise in the area. We can call on them for help if we need to. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now, floating around in places like Hawaii, South America and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about a hundred thousand cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago.
and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now floating around in places like Hawaii, South America and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago and then eaten by whales and other marine... So, I was testing that new cadet on fire extinguishers. You've just got to hear his answers. I asked him what extinguisher would you use if you had a pan of cooking oil on fire. And he said water. Oh, no. Wait, there's more. So then I asked him what he would use if there was an electrical fire. And he replied a foam extinguisher. And then I asked him what he'd use dry powder for. And do you know what he said? Go on. His feet. <laughs> So, I was testing that new cadet on fire extinguishers. You've just got to hear his answers. I asked him what extinguisher would you use if you had a pan of cooking oil on fire. And he said water. Oh, no. Wait, there's more. So then I asked him what he would use if there was an electrical fire. And he replied a foam extinguisher. And then I asked him what he'd use dry powder for. And do you know what he said? Go on. His feet. <laughs> Where's the permit to work? Where's the permit to work? What kind of assistance is required? Where's your seaman's book? Where's your seaman's book? What's wrong with the pilot ladder? What's wrong with the pilot ladder? How's the cut on your hand? How's the cut on your hand? I've just taken my temperature. It's 36.8 degrees centigrade. I've just taken my temperature. It's 36.8 degrees centigrade. The vessel on fire is 125 miles off the South African coast. The vessel on fire is 125 miles off the South African coast. There's a distress alert on channel 70. There's a distress alert on channel 70.
This vessel was built in the year 2016. This vessel was built in the year 2016. I think the volume of this shipping container is roughly 67.5 meters cubed. I think the volume of this shipping container is roughly 67.5 meters cubed.